Hey everybody, the time has come and the future is now. Today, we're gonna to talk about my Brian Wilson AI model. I've only got two things I wanna throw out there for you to think about um, and agree to before you use this, and then we'll get right into the kind of tutorial section of the video. The first one is, please, when you create things using this, this model, mark them as AI. Um, this is actually part of Sovitz, which is the software's that software we'll be using here. Um, you got to mark it as AI. We don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. Mark your creations as AI. And number two, never use this for monetary gain. This is for creating fun art, not for cre not for making money. Uh, please do not do that. Um, I don't consent to you doing that. Please do not do that. Um, as an aside, I would recommend exercising caution with this tool as well. Um, we're not looking to just create AI everything. Uh, this is a tool, this very specific tool for creating very specific things. I ask you to question whether what you're creating is ethical or moral on your own rights. Um, you know, you have the right to use this how you'd like, but I recommend that you think twice before you use it. With great power comes great responsibility. So please give it some thought ahead of time. But without further ado, let me quickly explain how this all works and get you on your way. All right, everybody. So this is Sovitz SVC's um, GitHub page. You can see the link up here. I'm going to put that down in the description. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to follow these instructions right down here in the README. And this has a pretty simple one-click installation. I recommend using Conda. So this is an Anaconda prompt. Anaconda and Conda in general, it's just a, a type of Python essentially to make it very simple. It's an environment for Python. So um, right here you can see I've set up a few different environments and I've uh, activated one of them. I ran, you know, activate the fork. And then I ran this SVCG, which you can see right here, um, opens the GUI. So GUI launches with the following command. You're just gonna follow all these instructions here. And you only need to work up to the point where the training starts. So let's see here. You only need to work up to this part. Uh, just install all this stuff. Make sure all of it's here. Make sure you run all of these dependencies. And then when you run SVCG in your conda prompt, this will open. So this is Sovitz SVC, right? So this is where we're going to use the model. So once you've downloaded the model, you're going to browse and pick it. Let's grab it, it's right here in downloads. Brian Wilson model. And then navigate to this folder and you're just gonna pick the largest G number thing here. So G and then this nice large number. Perfect. Now we're gonna pick the config, which is also in that folder right here, config.json. And then there you go. So at this point, we are pretty much all set with the speaker being loaded as Brian Wilson. Um, I'm going to explain a few of the settings now. This silence threshold is essentially where do you want it to assume silence is at. So, you know, if I'm really quiet and I'm speaking into the mic nice and quiet, I'm going to want to turn this up. And uh, this also increases the accuracy, I find, of the model, but sacrifices a bit of quality. So what you're going to want to do is find a sweet spot there. So we'll leave it right about here. Pitch, you're going to want to leave it at zero because you're going to sing the exact thing. If you want to sing it like on and on she go and you want it to be on and on she go, you'll move that to 12. Um, don't turn, do not click this auto predict F zero. This is, um, this is for speaking basically not for singing. Um, and then for these, um, prediction methods, I often find myself using crepe tiny. I find that's one of the best ones. Um, but crepe, tiny, do, crepe, those are all fine. I don't really like harvest or parcel mouth personally, but I stick with those. Um, and besides that, you can basically just leave everything else the way it is. We don't need to worry about real time because we're not going to do real time, although that's up to you to try. So now we just need an input file path. So I'm going to uncheck this um, input file path. So we need to record something. So I'm here in Mixcraft. Um, I'm just going to record a little something and I'm going to show you how it comes out of the, uh, out of the model. So, you know, as, as you know, like I mentioned, you got to sing like Brian Wilson, you got to kind of sing something. Uh, I'm not the best singer of all time. I took a lot of takes on this, but, uh, singing in pitch is pretty important. So let's, let's just lay something down. I don't want to tell you that I care for you and have you just ignore me. 
Let's hear it. I don't want to tell you that I care for you and have you just ignore me. So, I recommend that you auto-tune these things just a little bit, um, just for the sake of sticking within the notes. So I use G-Snap here. Let's see how off I was. Let's learn together. I don't want to tell you that I care for you and have you just ignore me. So it's not that bad. So I'm going to output this as a wave file. Uh, Brian test. Just put that right on the desktop, I guess. I've got all my pieces from the last thing uh, from Book Off Smile. So now we're going to go to Brian test. I'm going to actually I'm going to leave autoplay on. We're going to go to here, Brian test, select the file, and then infer. So now we let it run. When that button turns back to the regular color green, we're going to hear Brian Wilson's voice come out, hopefully sounding pretty good. Let's see. You can actually watch the output here. It may appear non-responsive, but watch this... Um, log here and you'll see some stuff happening gotta watch logs all the programmers will tell you watch logs so now that you see that this is back to dark green we're just gonna pop over to here and import our file so let's see how it sounds brian test dot out you'll find it that I way. don't wanna tell you that I care for you and have you just ignore me so there you go that's our Brian Wilson output right there. You can always mess with the silence threshold to get a smoother on this end, smoother but maybe less accurate or a harsher and more accurate. And then there you go. So now we'll just uh, we'll put a compressor on it. We'll put some reverb on it. I don't want to tell you that I care for you and have you just ignore me. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's really all there is to it. I know I'm really simplifying some of those early steps, but I recommend that you have a good understanding of Conda and Python to do this. Um, really just follow the steps on that GitHub and you're not going to have any problems, but just take your time, figure this out. And once you start seeing this UI, it's really all just music at that point. Just sing and uh, get it going. So you can download the model in the link down below. Um, and like I said, just uh, use it responsibly, but I cannot wait to see what people create. And uh, love and mercy, thanks for watching.